Good evening ladies and gentlemen, this is how I begin my mornings, I just afk fished the whole night, I got three Corvinas, a bunch of golden fishies, a bunch of gold, uh, the blue uh, flame parts for the event, obviously when you're watching this, probably the event is already over, so it's afk fishing, I go to the Valley of Blacksmith, exchange the daily for the yellow court Corvina, so yeah, the quest is new board and kittens, if you want to get into it and look further than that. Then, I go attend my 10 master fences. They don't have any particular difference from a normal strong fence. Just have 10 fences, which is going to bring you also a little bit of the good stonks in the morning. I'm farming pumpkins, by the way, because I want the crimson fruit. In the description down below, I will link you a good Google spreadsheet of uh, every single fruit and their timers and their fruits and you can decide for yourself what you want to grow in your garden nice mole it's very nice and that is done so our profit for today is already at I guess I'll get rid of the silver here So I'll know my fishies, 9 mil, I'm gonna go do Imperial Packing, because that's gonna give me another like 90-ish mil. I buy my meals, nice. Dude, these Mythical Feathers are actually going down, which is very lovely. I think it's because of the, the weekly horse uh, race that they added, which is very nice. Uh, I don't do the math, I just honestly just buy either Balmos meals, Valencia meals, it doesn't matter. Now, I'm going to go pack, which is going to take a long time, so obviously I'm going to do that off camera, because y'all don't really want me to squat and fiddle with some furniture. Also, don't forget to do your daily things like feed your workers after the after the night. Also, don't forget to spin your die. You have the processing costume, put the meals inside the storage i'm gonna process way more than i need to but it's gonna be better for the future when i do stream i don't have to do it on stream so everybody don't waste their time so what i do is press the processing button imperial press that and let it squat after a bunch of packing i got 700 or almost 800 meals ready that's gonna be good for four days i need to go do that off camera a little bit more but unfortunately i kind of didn't track the timer and i didn't and now i need to wait until i can switch server because cooking will always be taken that's why i kind of want to go back to making alchemy boxes less profit but at least it's always a way available a waveable you know what i'm gonna even do this daily which i don't do ever because it's a daily and i don't really want to advertise something you have to do in the game when in reality you don't have to do anything with any of these you can just enjoy your own way this girl right here in Heidel is going to provide you with a scorch fragment and all you have to do is hand in a hundred potato dough you have to make it your own obviously so grab your potatoes and grind them also grab some mineral water and shake potato flour with mineral water also again, don't forget to feed your workers once more, spin your little dice, after you're done that, you give 100 dough, and you choose Scorch Fragment. The reason why you want Scorch Fragments is because after you collect 10 of them, you can buy 5 mana stones, some pure crystals, and combine them into a mana accessory, which is currently on the EU market that it's not very good, but it's only 180 mil but it's still extra something if you want to do those dailies you're more than welcome sometimes from the dice event you're gonna get some Layla petals too bad I don't have an example from the black spirit safe but sometimes you will get these beautiful things Layla petals which is a reward and you can then go exchange it at the Camasilvia temple which is near high Dell you can just press on the Layla pedal, NPC location, and it's going to take you right here. You can go talk to this fairy. You will need two Layla pedals for one 
RNG bundle, which is going to give you a chance at obtaining a fairy tier 1, tier 2, tier 3, or tier 4. If you would get a tier 3 or a tier 4, you can talk to the main lady, which is this lady right here, and then you could exchange tier 3 or tier 4 for a mythical feather, which is currently at the max price of 20 mil in EU server. Then you talk to this little girl at the right side and you exchange for sweet honey wine which is 1.4 or 1.5 million. It's gonna give you extra stonks which is always nice. While you're going for the tier 10 dailies you can talk with this little girl and you can get the training daily right here for two tier 9 materials if you are master trainer. I think if you're below that you're gonna get only one. Then you go talk to Vapra, you take one of these quests down below for the royal fern fruits which you need a hundred of them per each tier 10 attempt but my recommendations if you don't want to do the daily which is going to be annoying only for a couple of extra a day i would recommend doing the weekly which is 30 which is very nice if you're ever gonna plan to do tier 10 attempts i equip my luxury trainer clothes and also the costume how you obtain that is you find npc type luxury go to the closest one buy the training clothes or whatever clothes you want and then you will need to combine it with the uh, coupon these are the equipment tailoring coupons usually you would normally get them in the attendance rewards so it's very fairly easy to get them they usually give away those pretty often so don't worry about them if you can't get them now it helps with the capturing it makes it succeed way more often also, this is the best way to level your training XP. And also the best way to uh, ruin your spacebar. For this quest, you just need to capture any tier horse. And you, then you choose whatever you want. I choose the dine ones just because the dine materials are the rarest. And you can usually sell them at the max price all the time. Even with the events that give away tier 9 materials. Speak of tier 9 materials, there is a new way to obtain 10 easily. You go to the horse racing and you complete the daily which gives 10 tier 9 materials this guy gives it daily tier 9 material summon the black spirit chat give him the 20 coins if you don't have 20 coins uh try to win more races because for one win you're gonna get 20 coins and a bunch of extra rewards. 20 coins, uh, frost leaf, which you can later on exchange for more seasonal stuff. You also get certificate, which is horse XP, which is actually kind of bad. So if you plan to like level your horse, this is not the way. And also you're going to get some trophies if you reach third place, second place or first place. How else you can spend your coins? Uh, currently there you only have these options which is the horse gear which doesn't really improve your horse at the horse race it's only two percent one one extra nothing special but at the bottom as you can see you can exchange 40 for the stone tail tonic or the meal those are the new meals that last 10 hours which is nice for afk horse racing or horse training sorry second place this is my best time ever 223 i never was this fast don't min list them like these guys do just be patient and list them at the top price well the world boss bell is gonna be soon so i don't want to miss it out this barter hour is actually very uh, rng carried just because i got the money run which is 10 million which i uh, have one two three five times three is it 15 15 times 10 million 150 million silver just waiting to be picked up all i have to do is go get it and then i'll go sail for the bell well bell is done i'm doing my roundabout i only had two books because i don't really do bartering no more so i don't have a good stock of uh, level fours so this is would be my last one so instead of 150 mil i'll get 140 mil which is nice also done a little bit of imperial cooking 100 mil i still need i think 90 to deliver so hopefully this hour i will wait until it resets and then i'll go deliver it and maybe till garmouth i'll 
just continue on packing Balanos meals, which is going to be, for the future, more beneficial. Last two. And now back to Velia. And we're now back to Velia. All I have to do is sell these. Inventory. Bam, 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 bam. Also, if you don't do gathering like I don't, you can uh, spend your energy by going to Alliston, which is this guy right here, and exchange your energy for energy potions. So every 200 energy you exchange for extra large one, and you give it to the gatherers of EU or NA or whatever server you're playing. Believe me, they will thank you. I'll attend my pumpkins. I accidentally popped the wrong meal, but that's okay. I already reached. There is no benefit of reaching Guru Guru, guru um, farming, so there is no point in reaching it. Nice, another mole. Hey, another mole. Hey, am I going for a record or something? Another mole. You exchange the unusual fruits and all these plants, all the, all the byproducts that you get from farming, into tier 9 materials. Apologies, but I already had some of the materials in my inventory, so these are the wrong stats. This is not how much I got from two harvesting, so... Apologies. Pretty much got ING carried. Rolled first six or seven times three. Now twos. That is a really nice amount of money, because each of them is 2.5 million. Now the title says how I make pretty much 500 million a day. More or less this video basically shows you some of the tips and tricks and quests and dailies that I do every single day. So I can get a nice progress going in BDO without putting too much effort into it. And maybe it's going to give you a different perspective on the bdo that you play i do like to grind as well from time to time but what i like to do is wait up until my agorist fever aka this at the top fills up to like around 60 so maybe 80 000 and then i go to my one of my favorite spots thornwood and grind it there because it's very efficient to grow and grind there uses up agorist fever really nice and well and i also stunk up on those uh, leaves just basically showing you how easy it is to get yourself a nice daily income without putting literally too much work by doing everything around the world for instance now i would naturally do this uh, dark rift and if i were you i would open up a dark rift box which can provide a nice accessory sometimes it will provide with crons and Two desperate dead boxes. I actually will open two desperate dead boxes just to prove the point that you can make some stonks by doing this. So two boxes. <laughs> Got five crowns. And the four more. <laughs> so technically that is nine million. Just save them up in the future. I'll show you another way how to make money around the world. Grab your Pegasus and jump off a cliff. Where we going is, we're going for the King Griffin, right? Wild King Griffin. Apology. Yeah. A wild bear appeared. You know what? I'm gonna even butcher you. And there he is. And there he goes. I'm gonna butcher it now. And let's see what we get. Nice. Some hunting XP, some more hunting XP, some griffin feathers, griffin claws, and some beautiful tier 9 materials. You can make griffin elixirs, so I'll keep that and uh, make it myself instead of selling it. Bear meat, boom. 43k stonks. I'm gonna go to the stars end to use up a little bit of the agris fever. I've been long enough on YouTube to realize what comments I could get and uh, this is not a video to boast or anything it's not even 500 mil 
at my level after three years or almost three years in BDO it's not a difficult task to achieve it's this video purpose is just basically to show you some different complete different ways of how to how to play this video game because you don't have to grind you don't have to do dailies you don't have to do technically you don't have to do anything you can just enjoy and do what i just did around the world random quest random things that makes you happy maybe not i don't know hopefully i did that it's gonna be plenty i'm even not gonna even check if there's someone's here Probably someone is here because it's star's end. Well, unfortunately all the spots were taken. Too bad I popped the loot scroll, but it's only 30 minutes, so I don't mind. Well, star's end is taken, so I went to my favorite spot, which is the Thornwood. This would be my fifth of a faru. Not this hour, obviously, but in a row. Hey, I'll take it. I was about to say, if this guy wouldn't give me... Hey, a leaf. That is some RNG bogus stuff right there. And the 15 minutes are up. I'm happy with this. I actually got one leaf, which is fascinating. Now I'm gonna go to Duvenkroon and wait for the Garmouth to spawn. After the Garmouth, I'm gonna go finish up my Imperials. I got the 50 inch does from all the rifts. Also opened up another rift. I got 10 Caffres, I gave 4 Caffres as a raw drop from the Thornwood, so I can sell that. Also, I sold the uh, tier 9 materials. Now that we made those 300 million that we got, I'm gonna go ahead and buy myself a 300 million ring. Today's whole video, just to buy this once. Hey, we just doubled our money for today. Thank you for watching. This video was a blast to make. It is uh, definitely a longer creation, but hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button. It helps me a lot by YouTube algorithm and thinking I did a good job. So maybe next time my videos will be recommended to more people, which would be awesome for my future. Thank you. Go make some coffee, go make some tea, go make some cookies, and uh, go hug your cat, your dog, or yourself. Just don't do it out in public, okay? I, I don't know where I'm going with this. Anyway, have a nice day.